I'm going to go over the formula for figuring out GPM from a fixed orifice. So if we have a known sized orifice, say we're using an inch and a quarter nozzle at 50 PSI, how can we figure out what the gallons per minute is out of that? So here's the formula. 29.7, which is a constant, times the tip diameter squared times square root of the nozzle pressure. So 29.7 will be our constant times the tip diameter squared. So in this case we're using an inch and a quarter nozzle, smooth bore obviously. Let's figure out what that's going to be. So what we need to do is convert that inch and a quarter fraction into a decimal and that's going to be 1.25. Right? That's 1.25 inches. So we just need to multiply that by itself because it's the diameter squared. So 1.25 times 1.25 is 1.56. 1 1.56. Perfect. My writing's getting a little small here, sorry. Times the square root of the nozzle pressure. So 50 PSI. If you're doing an engineer's exam, be super accurate with your numbers. If you're just doing field calculations, you could use seven, right? Seven times seven is 49. It gets you close enough. But if you're taking a test, actually use the, the correct numbers carried out a couple decimal places. So the square root of 50 is 7.07. .07. So 29.7 times the tip diameter squared times 7.07. .07. Perfect. So we go through and calculate all this, and we come out with... 328. That's 328 what? That's 328 GPM. So out of our inch and a quarter nozzle at 50 PSI, we are getting 328 gallons a minute. So pretty quick to calculate. So let's see. Let's change this up a little bit. Say we're using the monitor. And we have a two inch nozzle. Well, let's go through it. So 29.7 times the tip diameter squared, right? Two times two, so we're gonna go four, times the square root of our nozzle pressure. What's our nozzle pressure on a two inch tip? Well, it's not gonna be on a hand line. That's gonna be a monitor type evolution. So that would be 80 PSI, All right? So the square root of 80 is 8.94. 29.7 times, boom, times 8.94. And if you calculate that out, it's 1062. So 1062. GPM. So the big tip on the monitor flowing at the prescribed pressure is going to give you 1,062 gallons a minute. Hopefully this is a good review and it helps you. If you have any questions, just contact me. Thanks for watching.